Hey guys, it's the bubble. So NU today. Let's let's start this off. I'm leading against Wesser. Might be pronounced Vesser. Don't want to offend anyone. So yeah, if it's pronounced Vesser, then that's the way it's pronounced. So I send in Reg Ice. I'm gonna lead off with Reg Ice. Um, Reg Ice is pretty cool. It's got it's I'm it's uh, specially defensive Reg Ice because it's pretty much immune to special special attacks. But it has really good defense also. So even a super effective fire punch from a Zangus, he can tank with over half HP. And then I'm gonna hit him with Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is basically just to just to stop anything that with a with a high attack and high speed. It'll just stop it in its tracks because most of those Pokemon have low defense or spe and or special defense. And with that. With Without good speed, they're they're not very they're not very good, and they're gonna have a bad time. I send in Gorbis, which is very good because his Zangus is paralyzed, and he's gonna come in with a fire punch to hit that Regice. But no, he's gonna hit a Gorbis. Gonna do almost no damage. I'm very very happy that I did not get burned because that would be very inconvenient. This Gorbis, as you'd expect from a Gorbis, it has Shell Smash, but I also use Substitute. I forgo I forgo some um, some coverage. With with the the Gorbis, he gets paralyzed, which allows me to get a free substitute. Very lucky, but um. I'm just running um, Surf and Ice Beam. Together they have very good coverage, not too great against water types, but still it can it can do a very good amount of damage against water types because of Shell Smash. He switches into Behem on my Shell Smash. I know I know this Behem. I've used Behem before. Um, Behem really likes using Trick Room. Trick Room is very inconvenient for Gorobus, so my Gorobus is in a, is in a bit of a bit of a tissy. Um, because he's, he's gonna use, because it's not, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna be able to one-hit KO as Behem, uh, even with Shell Smash, because Behem does have very good, very good special defense. Uh, so yeah, there's my, there's my Surf, I'm, I'm kinda crossing my fingers that it'll kill it, because if I don't, he's gonna use Trick Room, and Agorabus is faster than all of the Pokemon on his team, so this is gonna be very, um, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't kill the Behem. He's gonna heal with his left. Or no, not a leftover. He's got a citrus berry. It's kind of peculiar. But there's your there's your trick room. So now now my Gorbis is not is it's this is inconvenient for Gorbis to say the least because now all of his Pokemon are gonna be faster than Gorbis. I mean, I could immediately take out the Behem with just just riding off that substitute. But what I'm gonna decide to do here, um, trick room only lasts for five turns. And I'm not sure whether or not that includes the the turn that it's in, but whatever, only five turns. And if you do the calculations, I think I'm pretty sure that I can survive it if I just sort of stall him out with substitutes. So what I'm gonna do is every time he uses a thunderbolt, I'm just gonna respond with a substitute. It's uh it's kinda it's kinda draggy, it'll it'll take a little while, but I mean actually not that long, just five turns, but um I'll be able I'll be able to get out. I won't have much HP left, but it's highly likely that I'll still have a substitute. And I mean Gorbis is gonna go go first most of the time, um, just because of its really high speed because of Shell Smash. So he's gonna he's gonna keep bolting and I'm gonna keep substituting. Um and sooner or later, uh hopefully before I run out of it, I run out of HP, his trick room will wear out and I'll be able to hopefully sweep the rest of his team. So yeah, that's that's how I'm hoping it's gonna go. Um, I'm I'm running low on HP, and his Trick Room is is running low on turns. So I'm I'm pretty sure that this is going to be uh, the last turn of his Trick Room. It certainly is the last turn of my being able to use Substitute. Um, I'm pretty sure I have 25. Yeah, I have 25 percent HP left, um, and I still have I still have eight to spare, which which lets me set up a substitute. Uh, so I'm going to restore HP with my leps, uh, leftovers, and there go the, the Twisted Dimension. So so Gorbis, Gorbis is ready is ready to battle. So he's, uh, yeah, he's going to take out, take out the Behem immediately. Down it goes. Um, so Gorbis is looking pretty, is looking pretty happy. He's feeling swell about itself because it just, it just overcame a very big obstacle in that Behem, and now it, it seems pretty free and clear. Zangus is going to be able to use Quick Attack inconvenient because he can take out my substitute and leave me vulnerable to other priority moves. Um, but Gorbis is almost certainly going to be able to one shot the Zangus with Surf. I'm not actually, I'm not assured of, um, of Zangus's special defense capabilities, but I don't think they're very high. Critical hit, almost certainly unnecessary. Nevertheless, it doesn't, in the end, it doesn't really matter. The, the Zangus, the game, Zangus will faint. So, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let, get leftovers. Absol, I don't know what he's gonna do. I thought, I, I figured that he would, um, use, he, I figured that he would predict Surf, 
and that he would use Sucker Punch, but that didn't happen. He actually predicted my prediction, which is very... Kudos, kudos to Vesser on, on that. So, yeah, he's going to use Pursuit, probably probably his safest option aside from the Sucker Punch. But that was that was well played. That was well played on his part. Um, so down goes the Gorbis. I'm going to send in my own Absol. Um, yeah, in the hopes that I'll just be... he. I was going to use Super Power. He used Super Power. Um, I was thinking maybe it was a speed tie, but my Absol does have an adamant nature. It's highly likely that his Absol had a jolly nature because it was able to outspeed mine. Uh, I had I just had an adamant nature on this Absol for for because um, it's a sword stance sucker punch Absol. So that's that's generally the nature you want on an Absol like that, where it normally gets priority and goes first anyway. So you wouldn't really need much speed. So I'm gonna send in Musharna. Not really sure why I did that, considering I'm facing an Absol, but he's going to be intimidated by my, my smoke puff, I guess, it's just so scary, that he's going to switch out and go into his Magikarp, the Basculin, so I'm going to hit him with a Hidden Power fi uh, Fighting that was intended for Absol, since I figured he'd stay in, because he is facing off against a Psychic type with a Dark type, anyway, so I'm going to send in Sock against his Magikarp, Magikarp Basculin. Um, so Basculin's going to use Waterfall against my Sock. I have Sturdy. I'm not. Uh, these these Basculin often carry Life Orb or Choice Band, and they have they have a lot of they have a lot of attacking power. Yeah, he's got a Life Orb, so he's going to knock down Sock uh, to 18 HP. I figured he'd had Aqua Jet, but I guess not. Um, he sends in Tio Kosa. I've got Reversal which is pretty pretty awesome with with 18 HP. I got my 18 HP sock with a choice scarf and reversal. So that's going to do a lot of damage. I'm actually I'm not sure whether a 18 HP um, reversal will do more damage, less damage or equal damage to uh, close combat, but you know, whatever. Um, so I predict I predict an ice shard uh, since that would knock out my my sock, but no, he 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 actually foresees my going to Regis. This guy is kind of a kind of a pro at predicting, but um, nevertheless, he still cannot do much damage. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest on him, uh, which is which is, yeah. He he loses. He loses a bunch of turns there. I'm not. Yeah, I I don't have. I do not have. Um, Sleep talk, but I've got a chest berry. So that means I'm that the problem with that is I'm only I'm only good, of course, for one for one rest. Otherwise, I have to sleep for two turns anyway. So he's going to use um he uses earthquake, does not do half damage, and I will take out his pile of swine with an ice beam. Pretty good considering it only had a pretty good stand for that for that pile of swine last stand considering it had probably probably ten or fifteen HP left total. Um, so he's going to immediately go into Magikarp and try to draw out what I can only guess is a Thunderbolt because uh, he sent in a water type. But I use Thunder Wave nevertheless, and he does get Lightning Rod, which is very, very well played. This guy's very, he's very good. Um, but it doesn't, I'm, I figure, you know what, I have a Regice. It's, it's all but immune to, to special attacks. Um, even, even with your, even with your boost, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Ice Beam, because Raichu does not have very good defenses. Also, it's got a Life Orb. It won't knock it out, because my Regice is a staller. Um, I'm not sure whether Thunderbolt will knock it out. Turns out, yes, but uh, his, his Raichu, after the Life Orb, it's not it's not in good shape, and it's only going downhill again, because that Life Orb. So I'm going to send in my Choice Scarf, 18 HP, Reversal, Sock. There's no way you're going faster than it, because it's a Choice Scarf. Unless you've got one too, but no, you've got a life orb. So I'm going to hit you with reversal. That will definitely take out your Raichu. Um, so down goes down goes Rayo Z, the Raichu. He sends an Absol. Um, again, I thought I thought he'd do his sneaky like, oh, I'm not going to use Sucker Punch because nah, he used Sucker Punch because I don't know. I guess he predicted my prediction of his prediction. This guy very clever. This one. So I'm gonna send an Embor because Embor really just does not give a fuck. You can use you can use Sucker Punch on my Embor. Just it'll it'll it will be not very effective because Embor is a fighting type. You know, there's another starter that's fire fighting. Embor doesn't give a fuck. Two other starters, in fact. But you know, whatever, man. It's fucking Embor. So yeah, Flare Blitz is going to take out your Absol. Um, yeah, absolutely. Just just because of just because of the the raw power of this Embor. Um. Uh, so he's gonna send in his, his water type, Embor, remember, Embor just really doesn't give a fuck, you don't have Aqua Jet, fine, I'll just hit you with a Flare Blitz, you're a water type, whatever, man, I'll just hit you with a Flare Blitz. So, yeah, going, going, and gone. And there goes his Basculin. 
So that's the end of the battle. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.